What is going on all my collectors? Welcome to the West Collects YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and when I go live right here on YouTube. If you like the content that I put out, by all means, smash the like button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Welcome back to another video. And today, we on a hunt at Hot Topic for the Soda Can jack o lantern and Poison Ivy. Also, Evie is going to be releasing in store today as well. Those Funko Pops and Funko Sodas that I just mentioned have released online. I woke up late, actually running late right now, but I had to stop at McDonald's, which is right there behind me, grab me some breakfast, and I'm going to head to the mall. Hopefully, there's not too many people lined up, but, you know, it is what it is if there is, and then I'm going to wait to go inside the store because i got like an hour and a half left before the store actually opens up. So, see you guys when I get to the mall. Yay! Shit! <laughs> Paris is in the building. People are acting crazy. It's like, it's a, what is it, smoke launcher? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit in sport. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got Sue. We got Punchline. We got this My Hero character. Two Eevees left. And two sodas. Alright, y'all, so here we are back in the studio. And as you can see, this was a crazy release. Uh, whatever happened with old boy happened. I don't know exactly what took place, but anytime the sheriff is involved, that is not a good sign. Any law enforcement for that matter, you know, he was escorted out in handcuffs. So I'll leave it to you guys to speculate and assume exactly what took place, you know, but outside of that, it was a well-organized release and shout out to everybody who was there that morning on the release. Uh, I met some new people. I met some new collectors who just started collecting like the beginning of the week. So that was cool talking to you guys, you and your brother. I forgot your name. Hopefully you watched the video uh, and you guys was able to get what you guys wanted. For me, I was number knife in line. So when I got inside from what y'all saw, it was slim pickings. But still, I was able to walk away with the things that I had came to get, man. Also, I had help. From my fellow C4 members, they helped me out with a couple of pieces as well. Shout out to Chief and the homeboy Dog. Definitely appreciate both of you guys for assisting me in today's video. We walked away with five Funko Eevee sodas, man. So, I said Eevee, didn't I? Poison Ivy, excuse me. <laughs> Here they are. Five of them. If you're following me over on Instagram, then you already saw that I pulled the Poison Ivy Funko Soda Chase. I could not wait. I was excited when I got outside the mall, uh, meeting back up with my fellow C4 members. And we was all just hanging out like, you going to open up one? And I was like, yeah, what y'all going to do the same? Yeah, all right. So we out there opening things up and I pulled the chase. So there is two common, which is in these two right here. And the Chase version right here, man. This was definitely a Funko Soda that I wanted to get the Chase for. Reason being, because the Chase version is a Diamond Edition Poison Ivy. And in my opinion, she looks oh so beautiful. Definitely looks dope, man. Love the hints, the glitter, the sparkle, the shine. And Funko did a great job with this Funko Soda right here. So... Definitely happy that I was able to walk away with the chase. I also have two sealed versions right here. These two are up for trade with new and old unboxing. I will leave a link down in the description to their YouTube channel. Go check them out. It's a father and son uh, YouTube channel. They collect Funko Pops, 
please give them a follow. They got some great content over there. So those two are going out to them. And when I receive what they sent to me in the mail, I will show it to you guys here first on the channel. Also, check out Key Tons of Fun. They just released their new video on their channel uh, showing the prize that was won from me. So I want to give Key Tons of Fun uh, a thank you, you know, and uh, another congratulations on winning those prize right there. And, you know, definitely appreciate you guys and glad that you guys enjoy uh, the prize that you won. Now, for the first focal pop I'm going to show, this one comes straight from my hero. And when I spoke about this Funko Pop in the beginning, I said I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't going to go after it. It was the delay. And then they decided to put this as an exclusive for the con. And I am talking about the translucent Sue. So check her out. This is her water form right there. She looks dope in my opinion. I like the light blue highlights of her eyes and the mask around her face along with her eyelashes as you can see. This is the side of the box. I wish Funko would start putting the different appearances of the mold and pop on the box. So for instance, this would have been dope if they would have put this just the translucent appearance on the box, man. They give it a more exclusive feel in my opinion as you see got the sticker right there here is the rest of the collection on the back that you can collect i do have all of these funko pops so when i got into the store it, i brought this off of impulse i really wasn't going to go after this but after looking at it i was like you know what i am going to add it because it looks dope you know sometimes you gotta see stuff in hand first and then you know base it off that and here we are with Sue. This next Funko Pop right here is going to be a first Diamond Edition Pokemon. And yes, I am talking about Eevee. They had a couple of these in stock. I know some stores had up towards 50. That is a lot. So if you was looking for Eevee, like some of those people that was behind me in line, um, and you didn't get it, then, you know. We had a low stock, man. We had low stock. They had a bunch of Sue, but happy to walk away with Eevee. Definitely looks dope. Here is the rest of the collection on the back that you can collect. Only issue that I have with this box is there's an indent across the back right there. That is a simple fix. Just uh, pull the tab out and iron the box, and it should fix it, and it should be fine. So there is the side. Another look at Diamond Edition Eevee. So this next Funko Pop is another one for my hero. I did not expect to uh, see this one still sitting on the shelf when I got inside a Hot Topic because people that was ahead of me said that they was going after this Funko Pop. And I believe the reason why they left this one behind is because it does have a little bit of damage on it. So check him out. He's definitely dope. He has the octopus uh, cork. You know, he can basically do everything that an octopus can do. So check out some of the damage right there on the box. That's what I believe why they left it behind. You know, for me. Uh, saw it. Grabbed it. Wanted to add it to the collection. And I'm definitely going to be going after some of these pieces that is in this set right here. Like... Uh, Sir Not I, definitely going to be going after that. Uh, Infinite Deku with Eerie. I want to get Eerie by herself. And I want to get Miro and Ryu. So those are the ones that I'm looking to get. I already have uh, the guy Unbreakable. He's just in, a, in his Unbreakable hardened form. I'm talking about this guy right there. So yeah. I was like, this is still sitting on the shelf? Oh, let me grab it. So, now I got it. Another Funko Pop I'm going to show you guys was gifted to me when we went to our monthly C4 meet. So, thank you, Jesus. Appreciate you for giving me this Funko Pop right here. Uh, I wanted it when I saw it. I just never pulled the trigger on it. And I am talking about Charizard. 
So check that out. Definitely look dope. Here's the back of the box and the rest of the set that you can collect. For me, I'm not going after Pikachu or Horsey. Seen Horsey already in store. Will be passing. But I did want to add Charizard to my Pokemon collection. So there he is. Now I'm going to put up a picture of some of the grills that some of the guys brought out for our Christmas meet and let you guys have a sneak peek at what they've been collecting. So as you can see, we got some dope pieces up there. We got a sign, Jason, you know, and the dopest piece in my opinion is that Looney Tunes 2-pack. That's just how I feel. Sorry, fellas, everybody who put their grills up on the, on the table, but Jesus, you know, he broke the bank with that one right there, man. That one in my opinion, is uh, pretty high up there as far as grill status is concerned. And I like that one a lot, man. One day, hopefully, I'll be able to own uh, that two-pack. You know, maybe he'll give me a discount on it, whatever the case may be. So, this last item I'm going to show you guys is one that I said I was looking for. I was rocking one. I was stocking one. And yes, I found another size large in the black light what if t-shirt, man. So now, this is my one to stock. I already had my one to rock. I rocked it at the meet. You know, I like how it looks when the black light hits the t-shirt. The blue, the teal, excuse me, the teal and the pink hits on the shirt. Definitely looks dope. I got a pair of uh, Blacklight Air Jordan 1's here in my collection that, you know, when the light hits it, it definitely looks dope. So that, that was the matching combo for the night, T that t-shirt and those shoes. So now we got an extra one in hand, man. Last, we're going to talk about this Happy Holidays giveaway. Some of you guys left feedback. Please leave some more feedback on this video right here. Leave a suggestion on what you think I should give away for the November slash December Happy Holidays giveaway, man. In that giveaway, we're going to be giving away two Funko Pops and possibly two Funko Sodas and some more mystery items in your prize box as well. So the suggestion goes for right now. What I've been receiving was anime, uh, Star Wars. Somebody suggested uh, just give what I feel is what I feel comfortable with, which that is a great idea, you know. But I also would like to hear the community's voice as well and see what they might want to, uh, what they might want me to give away. So, yeah, please leave a suggestion. Still, in the next video, I know we are on day number seven in December. I want to have this locked in. The next video so next week we got the week of the 18th which is my daughter's birthday that following weekend is coming up so I'm going to be putting the video out next weekend picking a winner that way I can send these things out express mail so you receive it just in time for Christmas and when you do receive your prize box please tag me on Instagram showing appreciation of the things that you have won for the double giveaway that is going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did you already know what to do if you haven't smashed the like button on the way in be sure to smash it on the way out if you're not subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel why because we're on the road to 1000 subscribers definitely appreciate every last single one of y'all see you guys in the next video and i'm out of here peace